Great way to start the weekend. I'm leaving my house directly in front of my house. I get pulled over. I don't think I was doing anything crazy, but I going that fast. No, we said we wanted content. Here's the content. Getting some selfies in? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a warning, boss, all right? Okay. I understand fast car. Also, when you were coming out of the, uh, to pull out onto Saxon, kind of rolled that stop sign, okay? Make sure okay. you come to a complete stop. Okay. Like I said, they got a fast car and everything like that, but. Car looks good, what year is it? Uh, 19. It's a 19? Yeah. Dude, this thing looks brand new. <laughs> I know. What do you do, do you just do? Uh, I software or? engineer and I car, car, car content. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Can't beat that, but just do me a favor, like I said, just I know it goes fast. The last thing I want to see is you get into a crash go. Going fast in this thing, you're gonna hurt yeah. yourself or hurt someone else. Just come to a stop at all stop signs, kind of thing like that. So okay. I know it's got a lot of horses, slow yeah, the horses down, alright? <laughs> Thanks man, yeah. I appreciate it. Oh, what's up Car Kings? It's your boy Scott Leonard. Back at it again with another banger, your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. We are here at Austin Martin Orlando for Cars and Coffee. This is their first Cars and Coffee they're doing here. It is extremely hot. The Supra, Lotus, the Jaguar F-Type, the Turbo S, 4 GT, GT3, C8, bunch of Lamborghinis, GTS 4.0, GT3, 992. Check out the wing. This is the aftermarket wing. M2, heavily modified. He has the wing, carbon fiber roof, the carbon fiber louvers on the front. Carbon fiber hood, Huracan Technica. And we got Pablo's Aventador. Look at the body kit. Look at the splitter he put on this thing. I say this thing looks really, really good. And this is the first time I'm seeing the wrap in the sun, but it has a crazy sparkle to it. It looks amazing, dude. You can't go wrong. I really do like how this looks. Looks freaking insane. He added the gold rims and the gold trim around the entire car. <laughs> I'm yapping here. A 750. And he was quick to wrap that thing. He got that thing like a week ago. For a Gallardo, this is a pretty good spec though. It's like the updated version. Two STOs. Never seen this STO before. I got the 570 with the doors up. You guys all know what happens when the doors go up. Dude, you know what drops. What drops. <laughs> you having fun, baby? No, I'm hot. Let's go inside and see what they have in there. <laughs> Martin honestly is luxury. The only issue is that these cars don't hold their value as well as let's say a Porsche or any of the other exotics. B12, brown and tan. So what do you think? Dude, fucking amazing bro. This huh. or Porsche? Which one? This or Porsche? This or Porsche. But which Porsche? Turbo? Yeah, same price. I'll go with this. Yeah, yeah. You guys heard it first. Turbo is dead. This is going with this. It looks a little more exotic, right? Exactly. It's just more exotic and uh, I don't know the name itself. You guys heard it first. My boy Zoltan said it's been a Turbo and the Aston Martin. He's going with the Aston Martin because it looks a little more exotic and I have to agree with them. It does look way more exotic. I think you'll get a lot more eyes than with the Turbo. I swear to God, she keeps trying to hit me with that damn fan. Huh? What do you think? I'm saving my battery for the mall. I'm gonna be like a neon in there. Running around, being extra annoying, screaming. You gotta fan the king. Back into the infernal, infernal heat. I am squinting in the entire video because it's so fucking sunny. I but check this out. All of the supercars and Bailey, she's not impressed. I didn't say that. I tried everything. I put the doors up. They didn't drop. I'm like, what's going on? As you can probably surmise by the cars around me, we are at Ferrari of Orlando. And there's quite a spectacle here. They have a bunch of insane cars. I've been here before, but I haven't been here recently, so I decided to come by. They are not disappointing here at this dealership. The first thing, the GTO. Guys, this car is worth probably $5 million. Insane, extremely rare. God, man, I one day I wanna have one of these. This is a dream. And then right next to it, you got the F40, not for sale. They got the sign, not for sale, you guys. But one day, I'm gonna have one of these in my garage. Right next to the Enzo, Ferrari Enzo. The only thing that's missing here is an F50. Got the LaFerrari, still has the plastic on the seats. Beautiful V12 Ferrari engine. Bailey's like, I don't care about those cars. I care about these raccoons. Yeah, to be honest. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the raccoons. There's like three of them. Ferrari 458 Challenge, this crazy Le Mans. Every time I come to the Ferrari dealership, I always am surprised. They have everything you can think of. There's so many SF90s. They have a 296 GTB downstairs that is 
beautiful. We're gonna go take a look at that in a second. Another SF90 matte red. <gasps> Bro, are we lost suit here? No, I don't know. <laughs> they place to us. Check this out. We didn't even notice they have an F1 car back from like the early 2000s. 296 with the Daytona seats. It goes fast, doesn't it? Matte red with the Assetto Piriano paint on the front. Those seats are killer, but they're hard. I've sat in those before. This is their actual color, their actual official color, yellow. Red is just the color they had to use for their races, and then it became like the most popular color. I just wanted to stop by Ferrari, give you guys a little look around of what they had here, but we are out. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Check this out, Aventador SV. We're heading to the mall now, do our live stream. You guys know what it's about. Lord help us. We are at the Millennium Mall of Orlando and Bailey tried to sabotage it for the, for the squad. She said, don't bring the camera. But nothing's gonna stop us from making you guys some content. I feel like she's getting more and more bougie each time. I'm not getting bougie. She is, she is. She said she wants fried calamari and it's like, it's like 10 o'clock guys. Sounds good. This out, Bailey ordered the homongolus. Hamongo's breakfast. <laughs> oh, no. And I ordered the waffles and fries. God damn, baby. You sure you're gonna be able to eat all that? Oh, we're so full right now. Holy shit. You better drink that whole juice because they're not gonna let us in with the juice. Ah. Oh shit, you gotta spill in the Louis Vuitton. We're about to get kicked out for real. <laughs> you imagine they walked up to me and they're like, please, sir, you cannot film in the mall. Oh, let's look at the Victoria's Secret. I signed my own death warrant coming to the mall. I said I was gonna come to the mall to look at a Rolex and some other things, but I brought her along with me. Berkeley. And now I'm in the Victoria's Secret and I'm, I'm assuming that this mall trip is gonna change from being a mall trip for me to being a mall trip for her. Look at her. It's sparkly, see? If it's not a Rolex, I don't want it. Like I said, I signed my own death warrant because I just came in here to look at a watch. Bailey's going all crazy. She's looking at all the stuff. Look at that. <laughs> the Beetlejuice jacket. Shopping can't be a hobby, babe. When I say get a hobby, I mean a real one. It makes it's a hobby. This is a hobby that will make, make us lose money. Oh, that's soft. One more thing. Check out the fit. Versace shirt. Seven for all mankind jeans. The Christian Louboutin sneakers. I did. We stopped at the Rolex store. I put in the order for the Rolex. I'm super excited. I hope I don't have to wait like two freaking years for it. We're about to head home. Like I said, all good things come to an end. But you guys know it's your boy, Scott Leonard. Always making banger content for you guys. Thank you for watching to the very end. I really do appreciate you guys for supporting. Stay tuned because the next video is going to be insane. And like I always say, I'm your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. It's your boy, Scott Leonard with the bangers. And I'm out.